Hi, my name is Laura Laxon Carroll of Ancient Current, and today I'm going to go over some uses for moxibustion therapy as well as how to do it yourself at home. I'm going to start with whole moxa. It's a stick like this, and I'm going to show you how to use it on a family member or yourself, as well as ways to use it. We have a couple different kinds of moxibustion. So, like I said, I'm starting with the whole moxa. You light it with a lighter like this until the end gets smoky. Okay, it's kind of like a big cigar, so be careful when you're using it near somebody else's skin. You want to be careful not to burn them, of course. So my technique is going to be using my left hand to hold the person's leg while my right hand holds the stick. Now, I'm going to bring the moxa stick about an inch to an inch and a half away from her skin, and I'm going to start to form small circles. This is moxibustion has been used for thousands of years and the particular way I'm using it is based on traditional Chinese medicine. So in Chinese medicine we use acupuncture points that have certain functions. So this particular function, this particular point that I'm using is called Su San Li or stomach 36. And this point has an amazing ability to support the immune system as well as treat any digestive issues like um, an upset stomach, diarrhea, reflux, constipation, anything of that matter. So when I'm treating the person, I take my stick, I hold it about an inch and a half above her skin, and when I want to tonify the stomach, make it stronger, I make small circles. Good. She feel very comfortable. It's also good for treating the immune system and the whole body as a whole. And I'm going to do this for about five minutes if I'm looking for a therapeutic effect. When I want to extinguish it, I have a little um, moxa extinguisher, or you can use it, a mason jar and close the lid on it so that you know it's completely out, extinguish it. Thank you.